Okay, in this problem, so we will uh, start doing a little bit of statics and um, just use what we learn in statics uh, to find the stress in a cable. So we have a beam um, that is quite heavy. Uh, the beam has a mass of 500 kilograms. Don't, don't forget that kilograms is the mass. So to have the weight, you need to multiply by 9.81. So the weight will be 500 times 9.81. That will be, oops, 4905 Newton. Don't forget to convert mass to weight um, when you have insertion units. So, uh, and what we know with the beam, the beam is uniform. Remember what that means, uniform? Uniform, it means that it's the weight is spread everywhere uniformly. So your weight, let me draw it in blue, will be in the middle like this. The weight is always vertical. Remember, don't put it at the uh, like perpendicular to the beam. The beam has an angle, but the weight is vertical. And we have some information of distances. So in our case, we have the distance L, the beam equal five meter long. The angle is 20 degrees and the height is two, two meters. Yes, here we go. And you will assign different numbers, of course. So the question is, what are the stress in the cable there inside this one? So what we will do, we will do to start with free body diagram. So we will do the free body diagram of the beam beam like this. Oops. We have some forces that we know. The only force that we know is the weight. That is at the distance from there. We will need that distance. So that will be the 5 divided by 2 times this angle. So time cosine 20. Because remember, we will need the moment. We will do an equation of moment. And uh, for the equation of moment, we need the perpendicular distance to the weight. Uh, we have two unknown forces at the pin connection, and that's why we will take the moment about that point. Okay, let's uh, let's call that moment O, and we have a force P. I call it P because it's a pulling force. I'm pulling on the cable. Uh, there's a smooth pulley, so smooth pulley means uh, no friction. So the force P after the pulley and before the pulley is the same, uh, and that's what we know. And when we do the moment about O, let's see. Um, I will get you where what we need to find. When we do the moment about O equals zero because it's statics, we will have the weight minus because it's negative. It's turning in the negative directions clockwise time the distance. And the P is rotating in the positive direction but we are missing some information there. So what we want to do to make it easy, let me draw it in, we want to use this distance L, that is five. So we will use the complement of P that is on this axis. So we need to find this angle alpha. So we will have plus P um, sine alpha. So that will be this complement of P, vertical complement of P. Oh no, let me put it in a nice color, oops, purple. So we will want to find this complement of P. Let's call that the P sine alpha time the distance L equals zero. So we can find P. We are missing alpha. So let's find alpha before we can solve for this equation. Okay, so I want to find this angle alpha. We are missing one distance there, that is two. So to find angle alpha, um, we would love to do a sine law. Okay, so the sine law, uh, we will need the opposite angle there. That's the only angle that we can know with from theta and we will need the uh, one of the distance on the, uh, on the opposite angle. Okay, so let's see. We have something like this. Take your time to do your sine law. Okay. We have two 
We have five. I know. Let's redo it. Something that make it a little bit more at the scale two. Five. We know this angle, so we know this one is twenty. So we know this one is seventy degrees, and the angle that we want to find is alpha there. Okay. So before the sine law, we need the cosine law. I know that would take some time. Oh, I hate that. I, I, I touched the bottom of my computer and it makes me this. So let's find x. Cosine law first. We have x square equal 2 square plus 5 square minus 2 times the two distance 2 times sine times cosine 70. Don't forget the square. So when you solve for that, I get... 4.71 meter. So this is this one. And now I can do my sine law. Oops, second step. Sine law that will give us sine divi sine 70 degrees divided by x equal sine alpha divided by 2. So you will find alpha equal the inverse sine of sine 70 times 2 divided divide by 4.71. So we got alpha equal 23.5 degrees. Okay. So this is the value that we were missing that we will add to our equation. And we have also L. So let's now find P. We have P equal W by 2 cosine 20 degrees and we divide by sine 23.5 degrees times the distance L that is 5 and remember the W W that was the 4 9 okay 4 9 0 5 times 2.5 times cosine 20 degrees divided by sine 23.5 degrees times 5. A uh, good little review of a statics problems with an equation of moment, right? We get P, that is the force in the cable, of 5,772 Newton. And we have one last step, because what we need is not the force, but the stress. So we go grab the formula for the stress. So let me ups, do this one there. Sigma equal the normal force. In our case, here is P divided by the area of the cable. And uh, we know that the cable is a five centimeters. Remember, we need to use the millimeters for millimeter square for the area. So sigma equal five, seven, seven, two divided by pi time the 5 centimeters, so 5 times 10, and divided by 2 because this is the radius square. When we get that, we get... Two point oh, not 2.9. Did I change the value? Um, 5, 5 times degrees. Yeah, no, that's correct. So we get 2.9 megapascal. So this is the answer for uh, the beam at 20 degrees with 500 kilograms uh, and a length of 5 meters and the pulley that is attached at 2 meters. So you can see how if I change the distance from the pulley, the weight of the beam or even the angle, that will change the sigma. And you will all have different numbers so we could compare and see what has the most influence on it. Hope that helps. Bye.